how would you calculate ABSA's budget for the year, considering all of our events and future fundraisers? To start off with that, I would go through all of the past records um, and see uh, where we can learn from there. I actually um, went through the Instagram recently to see all the events we've done this year and kind of balance it out which ones were fundraising and which ones were events that we spent money on. And even though it's not going to be a completely accurate plan, it's, it'll be a good basis to start off with. Um, just going over the previous um, year's activities and kind of predicting what will happen from there. Okay. Prospective events coordinators will negotiate a budget with you to fund their ideal supplies for their events. How will you navigate these negotiations so that you can achieve your budget goals while maintaining the success of their events? I would definitely respect um, their budget if, because I know that all of us care about the, our respective positions a lot. So I wouldn't try to, even though I said I would like to keep it keep the year frugal because um, for the later events, I will still try to um, meet a compromise with them. And as finance director, I will have the rest of the responsibility of advising them and also approving those budgets. So I would be making appropriate edits where necessary, where I believe we can cut costs, while still maintaining that same quality. Since the pandemic, APSA has had difficulty obtaining sponsorships for FTS. How will you work in tandem with the fundraising director to allocate our yearly budget and raise money for FTS? Well, for FTS, being at the end of the year, I think I would want to kick off this, the beginning of our executive board with making it making a report during a board meeting saying um, how FTS is going to be a big goal of ours at the end of the year. So like maybe at the first board meeting of the year, just make it clear, make it um, evident that the importance of planning for this event will be um, significant. And for working with the fundraising director, um, the, since this is a new year of where this role has separated into two more distinct roles. I will try to be there to support them, for sure. Um, it, I, I would hope that they're more creative than I am, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but I will definitely have their back, um, and no matter what, if they need help with anything, it's also in the bylaws for me to uh, help out in their position, in their responsibilities, when in their absence. So I'll definitely have their back and support them in any way that I possibly can, even if it's not my strength. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.